An eight-year-old girl found alone on the side of a road in High Point in tears. She told a stranger her Guilford County school bus driver dropped her off at a business where the doors were locked. Good evening and welcome to the Fox 8 6 o'clock news. I'm Neil McNeil. And I'm Katie Nordine. Fox 8's Caroline Boyer is live outside the Salvation Army Boys and Girls Club on Cloverleaf Place in High Point where that child was left. Caroline, how did this happen? Katie, this place was closed for a fundraiser Tuesday when this happened. A Boys and Girls Club spokesperson tells me they notified parents in advance. That ne message never made it to the school. The bus driver dropped off the child and didn't wait to see if she made it inside. That, but I, I mean, really, honestly, I ain't even really blaming them. Skyler's mom admits the day her child was left alone at this Boys and Girls Club in High Point, she failed to notify her child's school. I feel like the blame is on me because I, sh I should have, you know what I'm saying, I, I wasn't thinking. The eight-year-old walked down this road and ended up off the exit ramp, crying and trying to flag down someone to help her. So I pulled over and she came running to me. And when she did, she was so, so frightened. So I took and uh, let her call a family member. She couldn't reach nobody. So I said, well, I'm going to go against my better judgment here, and I'm going to take you home. Skyler also questioned her own judgment. She says, you're not going to kidnap me, are you? I says, no, ma'am, I'm not going to hurt you at all. I said, I'm going to get you to safety right now. The child gave Julie directions. Her mother, forever grateful, such a kind and honest person, picked up her little girl. You was the right time, the right place, because she said one car passed by. And then think about it, she out there doing it like that. Anybody uh -huh. could have snatched my child. Skyler's mom did not want to go on TV, but allowed us to record as she met the woman who saved her child. Hello, um, I'm Julie. I'm the one that brought Skyler home. Julie, I'll thank you, baby. You're more than welcome, sweetheart. We reached out to the Guilford County School District to see what action they're taking following this dangerous drop off. In a statement, the district's chief of staff, Dr. Rebecca Kay, said, Quote, we are grateful to the community member who took action to ensure the student was safe. While the Boys and Girls Club had a process in place to ensure that parents were informed, the district did not previously receive these notifications. To ensure this cannot happen again, the Boys and Girls Club now has a process in place to notify GCS directly when the program will be closed. Mom also learned a lesson through this. Ms. Julie, it could have been worse than it was. It could have. How do I do it again? Okay. <laughs> I'll do it again. It broke my heart to see her out there. Skyler did try calling her mom. The number was disconnected because the mother got a new phone number. The mother also tells me she was having car troubles the day her daughter was stranded. If that hadn't happened, she tells me she would have been more on top of the transportation situation. But she will continue sending Skyler to the Boys and Girls Club. Live in High Point, Caroline Boyer, Fox 8 News.